I think this is a video from, yeah, this is from the beach, right? I think this is during spring break, which isn't, again, I'm going to be a bit of a contrarian on this issue, right? I don't think I'm down with the whole, like, shaming of people who are not taking the coronavirus seriously. I think we all have, we all have the internet, we all have um, access to media. Um, some people are just not willing to accept that it's a big, it's as big as an issue of the people are making out, which is okay. It's your prerogative. I guess the added advantage is that the coronavirus, as we all know, is only affecting a certain segment of the population. The symptoms are pretty self-evident. Sometimes they are, they're not self-evident, but there is a protocol in place for everyone to kind of deal with it in a sensible and hopefully a helpful manner, right? So if that's the case and you are somebody who's and you and or maybe let's say the flip side, let's say you are in tune with everything that's going on, you understand the severity of it, but you're also looking at the numbers and you're like, you know what, it hasn't really hit the states yet. It hasn't hit North America the way it's hit other parts of the globe, such as you know, Far East Asia, Eastern Europe, Central Europe, Western Europe, whatever, right? I get it. So maybe they're thinking we might have um this is only their last week. Because it's quite advantageous actually in the States that um st patrick's day spring break has kind of fell in the same sort of weekend i'm sure, I'm sure it happens all the time anyway um it's fell in the same sort of two-week weekend but it's also fell with it's also perfectly lined up with the uk kind of peak spike is approaching that means that the states is probably going to have their worst kind of outbreak towards i'm going to say the end of april I'm, I'm assuming judging by what the months are doing now obviously touch wood it doesn't happen and the states don't get what we had in europe but judging by what's happening in other places it's inevitable it's going to hit a speak it's going to hit a spike or a peak during the end of april in the states so maybe people are like you know what it's a calculated risk i'm going to go to the beach i'm going to hang out with my friends because this might be the only time i get to do it so i'm not really down with the whole like shaming of people oh my god i can't believe they're going out and hanging out with people this is so irresponsible it's like look they know what the risks are um it's pretty clear you know trump went from their dead president actually donald trump went from you know not thinking it was a big deal to suddenly the other day going on you know standing on a pulpit and looking like he looking completely white and super tired and shit so obviously he got told some information that we're not privy to and he kind of acted you know and kind of corrected course and has dealt with it accordingly so they know the severity of it and if they want to go to the beach let them go to the beach in it so this is a video from um what is this from abc new abc action news right this is quite funny and they kind of detail exactly what's spring break on. underway the beach is one place where everyone seems to be going despite warnings about large gatherings i want to show you this video that our is in clearwater talking to city leaders about the changes that could be coming the threat of coronavirus isn't keeping people away from the sand. We found packed coastlines all the way up and down Pinellas County's beaches. The, the see beach how, is see how, see how funny that was that she jumped out of the way of the camera. <laughs> packed coastlines. <laughs> the threat of coronavirus isn't keeping people smooth, away from the sand. We found packed coastlines all the way up and down Pinellas County's beaches. The beach is slammed. Traffic is jammed as thousands of people flock to the sandy shores of Clearwater Beach. If you look around. So what has nothing changed then? Is this like a standard is this like a standard weekend or is it just like why are people going to the beach during the week like this at this time? Is that like a thing? Cause these don't look like spring breakers to me. People are still just living their lives and doing everything. The restaurants are packed, the beaches are packed. With theme parks and nearby attractions closed, visitors from Florida and across the nation snagging a spot okay, in the right. sand. We're definitely still worried about it, but it's not something that we're like letting consume or spring break, I guess. Clear would you know you would you kind of have some sympathy for them, right? Three young girls who are, you know, it's spring break, you only get one spring break, especially during your, you know, during the, the years that matter, you know, you can't be going to spring break when you're 26. You want to go between the ages of like, you know, 18 and 21, really, maybe max 22. Um, you have bought your lovely little bathing suits from Fashion Nova. You've ordered it from some random Chinese place and you're wondering why it's taking seven weeks to arrive. Little do you know, right? So they've prepared a while to get there, right? And they finally got there and breathing down their necks somewhere in the in, in a foreign land is this virus they've not really heard about um, potentially coming over to their shores 
I can understand the calculated risk. Again, if, if if I was a parent, would I be happy with it? Obviously not. If I was a kid living there and I saw these three girls there, would I want to go to spring break? Probably, yeah. Right? But I don't know, man. I don't know. You're hoping that, you know, it doesn't get as serious as it has in, the, in, the Euro, in Europe with it, but you know for sure it's going to be the same thing, isn't it? But something that we're like letting consume our spring break i guess clearwater leaders met monday to discuss the idea of adding curfews for the beach or closing down the sand altogether they chose not to make a final decision <laughs> awaiting not. more guidance the count which is funny isn't it like and the, and the guidance isn't coming which has been quite interesting to see how the governors are sort of taking a lead on it and being like okay if the president of the united states isn't going to take the lead on it because he's afraid of making a mistake or he's not sure what to do or he has different um powers at play pulling in different directions the government's now taking a bit more responsibility and again i think it's a perfect time if you actually are a leader who wants to impact or who wants to yeah impact change or make a difference or just de or just selfishly if you just want to guarantee that you get elected um next term right wouldn't wouldn't the best way to do it would be to kind of come out front and center take off your tie roll up your roll up your shirt get get your hands dirty and really try and address the issues at hand people will kind of and again if it then if it happens to be no big deal then you still look like you prepared and you, you still look great because you prepared and you made sure you dealt with things as they um as they uh as they came over your desk and if it does turn into a big deal you still look amazing because you decided to take the onus on yourself and make the change and not wait for somebody else to do it so